What's up mga kapital? How are you doing? Kumusta po ang inyong Christmas at inyong New Year? May mga regalo ba kayo? As for me, I had the new Brighton Rider 750 Quick unboxing of the uh, new product given to me by Brighton this Christmas uh, Let's check what it is There we go Oh Look at it Brighton Rider 750 I had the uh, device only Rider 750E the device only so let's check what's inside out of the box this box is nice okay first one out the charger allen key and wow I have these uh, bar fly mount this metal another lanyard let's get the device out oh nice compulsory more so there is the device oh this looks nice it has physical buttons nice so let's wear with this baby standard and stem mount and some different o-rings o-rings for the uh, different sizes of bars stems let's wear this how much is this there you go see my brighton 420 is 70 grams this baby 93 grams 96 okay let me remove this one 95 versus 70 25 grams difference What's up mga kapital? How are you doing? Kumusta po ang inyong Christmas at inyong New Year? May mga regalo ba kayo? As for me, I had the new Brighton Rider 750. Isa po itong touchscreen cycling GPS computer, 2.8 inches ang kanyang laki. And it has physical buttons at the side, four physical buttons, power, tsaka lock, the lock button sa nasa left, and then the start record, stop, start, stop, record button. And this one is how you scroll the pages. Meron pa akong currently three pages na nakabukas dito. The next one is the map. This is an online navigation nga pala Habang nagra-ride kayo, nakikita nyo po kung saan kayo pumupunta Meron po siyang map, built-in map You can download the maps kung anong location nyo Kung sa Pilipinas, pwede pong i-download yan Meron po sa Brighton website At saka meron, marami pang mga website kung pwede mag-download ng mga open street maps Yan, o balik tayo sa main Yan Sa second page ko, meron ako maximum na 12 data pages Ang video po nito ay first look of the 750 muna Kasi unang araw kong ginagamit po pala mga ito So here we go I'm on a ride right now I'm going uh, somewhere Somewhere in the mountains in Dasan Bay Para matesting natin ito Okay I'll tell you more about it on our way while using it Okay First look First look po sa kanya It is a box type Kami yun yung corners niya para may mga edges So box type pong tawag usan Para sasakyan ba box type lo Ganda oh. This weighs uh, 90 grams 95 grams I already weighed it on the video a while ago for the weight win is over there this is 95 gram it feels a bit heavy uh, compared to my brighton 420 kaya para sa mga weight winnie this is 95 grams kung yung 420 naman eh 70 grams straight out of the bat ang ganda ang ganda ng screen nya oh kitang kita ito po yung lap button ito mamaya may uphill akong pupunta na kaya itatry natin itetesting natin yung lap natin tapos yung lap na nya yung lap button yung datas na nakikita sa lap button lap page ko naayos ko na po yun papakita ko po rin sa inyo sa video nito kung paano ayusin yan tingnan nyo so ganito ang gumawa ng lap page sa inyong brighton this is how you do it to make a lap page on your brighton device you can also do it on your phone on the application but today i'm gonna teach you how to do it on the device itself turn it on this is the on power on off and the lock button lock unlock button this is the lock button and this is the start stop and pause button this is the scroll area scroll button click on settings and then go to bike settings select on the bike which one you which is the one you want to change kung anong gusto mo configure na data page click on tcr because that's my bike and click on ride configuration ride configure data page you wanna go on this data page that's with me right now naka on aking page 1 page 2 and page 3 you can even on page 4 so today my lap 1 and lap 2 are on let's go to lap 1 and turn them on you can select how many data you want in this it's a maximum of 12 as i said you can have 12 maximum data so i'm gonna choose 7 you click ko tuloy ng next all right and then to change this long press on the data that you want to change long press and then press it again and then you can select which data you want because this is my lock button i'm going to select power and then i'm going to select three seconds average power three seconds power there you go click on that one 
then because there's no power meter connected right now then like that then you can just press this one check then that's it you're on you're good to go that was lap two that's also my lap two this lap two is the uh last lap page you can see i i have with me six datas the last lap average power last lap average heart rate the last lap distance the last lap average heart rate last lap time and the last lap average cadence that is the data that i want all right that's how you do it ganyan gumawa ng page yan lock po natin yan naka unlock po siya ngayon pwede natin scroll scroll using this physical button pwede tatlo pa lang ang page na makikita nyo dyan pero pag pinindot nyo na yan mamaya yung lap button na yan lalabas na yung dalawang page meron pa akong ginawang dalawang lap page yung isa yung lap page na nakikita ko habang nagra-ride ako habang nag-interval ako kunwari yung pangalawang page yun na po yung lap na after lap after nung lap na lap yung datas nung lap na yun magpapakita na yung mga last lap na ginawa ko yung average power average speed average heart rate ganun ginawa ko na yun na set na set up ko na rin yun okay so ito na bago mag start yung climb ilalap ko po siya okay ito po yung lap button sa left left side below so here comes the climb and the climb starts now i'll press the lap button yan lap one let's go and then now you can scroll 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 down lalabas na eto na po yung page pangatlo siya sa aking lap page andyan yung 3 seconds average power lap distance yung cadence ko ngayon yun at saka yung average sorry sandali matarik at saka yung lap normalized power matarik ng konti ah kung gusto mong scroll dun sa datas ng gradient andyan yan ayun 14% nakalagay sa aking second page yan 14% that's insane 16% ayan yung aking lap page nakikita nyo then i-end na natin end natin yung lap pin dito mo lang ulit yung lap press here ayan nag-end na yung lap lap 1 yun then kung gusto mong tingnan ayan yung last lap yung katatapos lang kanina ito yung ginawa kong page sa kanya sa second lap page makikita natin dyan yung ginawa nating uh, interval na yun kanwari naging interval ka diba so ayan inedit ko siya ginawa kong average power average heart rate nung lap na yun diba pati heart rate pati yung speed distance nyan dun din 300 meters 375 Ang mga Brighton devices, Brighton cycling devices ay kilala sa mga very cheap products pero yung kanilang mga features sa kanilang mga devices ay kaya makipaglaban sa mga malulupit ibang brand baka yung magbablog sa Matarik mamaya na ulit bukod pa doon yung battery life nila ang galing tumatagal talaga dito pa talaga ako gumawa ng uh, first look review ano 11% ayun ang gradient 11% oh ayan may switch back po i-scroll natin dun sa map kung gaano ka accurate oh ayan kita kita ang kita oh iikot na tayo pwede pa natin i-zoom ayan click the zoom ayun na dun tayo sa switch back ngayon mapa nya accurate ang ganda kita ang kita mo yung yellow lane yan ang main road na dinadaanan natin oh oh So by the way, yung sabi ko na touchscreen nito. So meron siyang function na pagka inilock mo siya, there you can see nakalock na. Pwede mo siyang i-swipe. You can swipe on the pages, eh? But you cannot click. You cannot press on the data. Yeah, hindi mo siya mapapalitan. So you cannot accidentally na mapipindot yung mga ibang data diyan, mapapalitan 'yan. Okay lang siyang i-swipe through pages. Then pagka i-unlock mo na ulit, makikita mo na na 'yan. Yan, unlock. Then pwede ka na magpalit mga data mo kung gusto mo. Kunwari nasa map ka, gusto mo siyang i-zoom nasaan ka ngayon gusto mong i-zoom yan automatic magzo-zoom yan balik tayo sa ibang pages scroll it like this yan nasa main page na tayo main page ko yan so habang habang nagra-ride ka 
siya nakalak yan sa akin so hindi ko siya basta-basta na pipindot yan pero pwede mo siyang i-swipe swipe left and right yan diba pwede sa main screen tapos nakalak siya kasi baka in-unlock ko ganyan yan unlock na then pwede mo nang pindutin yung mga data na yan o yan pero hindi natin gagawin yan lock mo na natin yan So overall, nah, I'm very impressed with the uh, with this product right now. I'll be really gonna meeting up with some other bases because that's the main GPS of my bike. I'm gonna give you the 420 when it comes to the winter. So let's head home and see you soon. Let's head home and see ya. Subscribe to my channel for more videos about the device. And subscribe for cycling in Taiwan. All right, bye bye, peace. See you the next one.